What's up fellow tamers? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today we're going to be starting a Digimon World 3 Let's Play and I'm very excited to get started. One of my favorite games ever, but I've yet to beat it. In the 20 years it's been part of my life, I have not beat this game. So we're going to beat this game. This will serve as a walkthrough hopefully as well. We are playing with a guide, so hopefully that will speed the game up a little bit. And if you're ever stuck at any point in your playthrough, you can come and reference this as well. Uh, so we're just going to get started with a new game here. This first part really is just a lot of dialogue and setting up the atmosphere, but really important for us to dive into the digital world. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to start here. We are playing as Junior, who is here, uh, just top top tier, top tier character here. Uh, he's waiting on his friends Ivy and Teddy. He's a very concerned we won't have time to play Digimon online. And before we get any further, I hope this series also serves as a love letter to this game. I think it's aged pretty well in terms of like graphics and pixel art, things like that. I think some of the grinding maybe didn't age as well, but we'll see how that goes as we go along. Um, but as you can see, Teddy's already inviting people he shouldn't invite. And again, this is in the real world, so we have not gone into the digital world yet. We're just waiting for our buddies, uh, Teddy and Ivy, to, to come along here. Just in. Oh, international police have located HQ of a crime group, the AOA. They're probably going to play a huge factor in this entire game. They're raiding headquarters. They're arresting leaders. The officials believe these arrests will connect recent internet, uh, in, internet terrorism. My goodness. And what's really cool is I think this game was like, this came out around the same time as like Digimon Tamers, like that was finishing. So I think it does take a lot from that anime series as I'm watching while I play this. Like I'm not watching it right now, but I'm watching it like in the real world as I'm playing this game. So we finally meet Teddy and Ivy. Uh, it seems like they're good friends, kind of, maybe not so much. Uh, but it looks like Junior is upset, waving his arms a little bit, wondering why Ivy <laughs> is he even here in the first place. Good, good question. Say Digimon are for kids. Interested in Digimon Online. Never hated Digimon. Look at that, just going back and forth as Teddy is spinning out, literally, <laughs> literally spinning out. Let's just go to Digimon Online. I agree, Teddy. Let's let's get into it. Also, we are playing on the not original hardware. We're playing on a PS2 um, with a, with the Digimon World 3 disc. Um, so we're not emulating. This is all going to be on like mostly mostly original hardware for for this game. Uh, we're in M Megami Online. Finally made it. We're in the Matrix system. It digitizes our ideas and thoughts and sends them to the net. That's really cool. That's one thing I really like about Digimon, is I feel like this could exist in the world today, which is really cool. I wonder how it works. I want to see what makes it tick. Teddy's Teddy's a, a sharp a sharp character here. What are we gonna do? Come on, let's set up an account and log into the digital world. As the game goes on, it'll be a lot less dialogue heavy, but I want to make sure we're getting all the dialogue and we're all on the same page as we go through this. Welcome to the Megami Online Center. This service is for those traveling into the digital world, which would be so cool if, like, in this day and age, we could go into the digital world to see Digimon. I guess VR is kind of the same thing, but Digimon Online just seems like a really cool concept. Is this your first time playing Digimon Online? It is. Um, so before we set up an account, uh, we'll choose our partner Digimon, which I'm really excited about and I will talk a little bit about the different Digimon that you can select here. Um, so we have starter packs. So for those of you who might be more familiar with things like Pokemon, where you pick one starter and kind of go from there. In this game, you have the choice between A, B, or C starter packs. Um, so each of these packs um, will have three different types of Digimon and each one is focused like for a different type of gaming style. Um, so A is the balance pack that is Kodamon, Renamon, and Patamon. Uh, B is the powerful pack which is Monmon, Agumon, and Renumon. And C is the maniac pack which is uh, Kunamon, Gilamon, and Patamon. Um, so the clerk's asking us which do we like. Um, I know who I like but I won't spoil it here. We're gonna wait until we get to that decision point. Um, but Teddy just cannot choose, you'll see here. Teddy and Ivy are just gonna go back and forth for a minute here. Junior, what are you worried about? Just pick a pack. 
Just pick one. <laughs> you can't help it. I love every Digimon. Junior's a solid, solid dude. Which Digimon don't you like? That's a very good question to ask. Don't get that pack that's a Digimon that you don't like. And pick. Alright. <laughs> I like how Teddy's thinking about Gilamon and Patamon over there. And there are no Digimon that Junior does not like. I love all Digimon, I feel you, um, but we're we're gonna make a pretty easy pick when we get there. We know who we want. Ivy is sharp as attack. If you like them all, then you don't have to worry. Come on, choose. Let's go to the digital world. I agree. Let's get into it. Junior, have you so... You still haven't made up your mind. You better make up your mind or I'm going ahead. Which is interesting because I think later in the game, uh, Junior just kind of takes off and does whatever, <laughs> whatever he wants to do without his friends. Have you all decided? Two of us have. We're still a little squirrely in the head. Based off of the animation that we just saw for Junior. And we're going to get left behind it looks like. Alright, so it looks like we're ready to re register our Digimon partners. Alright, Digimon Online, so we're getting in there. The account name will be your name in the game. In the digital world, not the game. In the, in the digital world. Uh, please choose uh, your partner Digimon from one of the three starter packs. We will now start the process. All right, so we're gonna pick our name. I think we're gonna go with Sally. I don't see a reason not to. <laughs> we're gonna do that. We'll delete the R so we're not Sallier. And let's get into it. So this is where I wanted to talk a little bit about the different packs. So we do have Kodamon, Renamon, and Patamon in the balanced pack. Um, Kodamon is a balanced swordsman, also learns how to heal. Renamon is like a glass cannon, but gets the enemy with lightning and ice. And then Patamon, if you do want early healing in the game, Patamon is a healing specialist. There's a little more grinding with Patamon because Patamon isn't quite as offensively talented as some of the other mons you can pick in this game. But balance pack, can't go wrong, pretty solid. Power pack though. The power pack is my favorite pack. Uh, Mon Mon <laughs> has various guns, expert marksman. Also, I believe is the only Digimon in the game who can wield two-handed weapons, which is, I think, really cool. Um, Agumon, one of my favorite Digimon from the OG series. I really like Digimon, very aggressive, very hard to level up. Um, so if you do want to play through Agumon in this game, I would recommend getting Agumon early. You can get all of the Digimon later in the game. But because Agumon is one of the harder, I think, mons to level up, might want to consider getting it here. And then you also get Renamon, who again, glass canning really fast, hits, hits really well on the special side. Um, so if you are a little more like offensive oriented, um, this is a really good pack to go with. And then the last pack is the Maniac pack. Now aesthetically, aesthetically, I like this pack. Uh, Kunamon, Gilamon, and Patamon are just great. I'm not going to go with this pack though. And if you do go with this pack, keep in mind, um, Kumamon, for example, is not difficult to level up, um, but some of your most powerful moves aren't available to you as early in, in the game. So we're gonna go with the power pack. The last thing I'll mention about picking your Digimon at this point in the game is I would highly recommend checking out the guide down in, in the description that shows the different Digimon evolution trees. You can get any digi evolution with any digimon but there's a different path for each digimon so if you know you want to get to a certain ultimate or mega level i would really recommend checking out the guide um, before you jump in but we're going to pick the powerful pack um, we do want to register to our account can't beat that load time they are 100 percent registered and we are going to soon soon uh, jump into the digital world so registration is complete we can go ahead and jump into the chamber room Okay, Teddy Ivy, let's go to the digital world. All right, and I just gotta say, I really do love the pixel art here. I think it, it's aged really well. I think it's really cool. If there's a remake, probably pretty easy to remake. Um, Ivy's saying, wait up. Teddy says, I'm not done registering. And as you can see, um, we've already turned the tables and, and we're, we're speeding off. So we are in the chamber room. This is gonna allow us to go from the real world to the digital world. 
Um, and we should meet our partner Digimon once we get there. All right, this is the chamber room. We start playing the game. This is really exciting. I agree. I'm super excited about this. What is your registered account name? Sally. Yes. Yes, it is. And as we're getting registered, it looks like Teddy's a little impatient. It's okay. Confirmed. Please enter the chamber capsule over there. Alrighty. So we are going to go into capsule three. As you can see, Teddy and Ivy are just not keeping up. And <laughs> I like how they jump like that. Um, and we are living without you, Ivy. We're going to the digital world, ready to meet Agumon, Renumon, and Monmon. Uh, Teddy was saying, just wait up for us there. And as the clerk is setting it up, we're going to switch to one of my favorite cutaways in the game, uh, moving into the digital world. So we see access is denied, and I, that should be tied to the AOA, I think, virus or attacks that they were doing. But this is just really cool, as you can see the character like, going into the digital world. And once you get there, it's just so much different than the real world that we were just in, which I think is a lot of fun. Login is complete. And we are in Asuka City. Now, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm probably going to mispronounce things. If I do, just let me know in the comments, phonetically spell it out, and I would be happy to correct my mispronunciations here. Um, so you will notice as we're jumping down here, um, Teddy is just so excited. Wow, this is the inside of the digital world. And you'll notice above our head kind of going, we have a satellite. Um, this kind of serves as our guide throughout the game for downloading things, for getting information. And we are in the Asuka server. Um, so we're going to go and retrieve our Digimon at the lobby, which is great. I don't know why Teddy's confused. We're in the digital world. Yeah, we got it. All right, main lobby. So here is where you get your first free reign of the game. Uh, you are able to talk to the different um, NCPs here. Aside from Digimon Battles, you can card battle, which we will get into in later episodes. There is a card game in this uh, in this game, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I know a lot of people are, so we will make sure to take the time to go through some of that card game. Um, you've got what to be. You uh, you've got to be good at both to be a real champ. Okay, Maniac Philip, <laughs> dropping drop knowledge. Um, who is this? Gamer Takashi, the Digimon Lab up ahead is where they study Digimon. And I think we're just gonna jump into getting our Digimon here. Um, to do that, you'll go to the clerk here at the front, Tamer Service, um, welcome. Here you can look at hints on how to play the game. Uh, this type of data will be displayed on your satellite, which is really cool. Um, so you have to talk to them again um, <laughs> if you then you wanna get your Digimon which is going to be a reoccurring theme in this game. Uh, you have to constantly talk to people twice if you want to get information or get, get anything done. So then, should I call out your partner Digimon? Absolutely. Yes, please. I understand. And as it cuts away, we will see our Digimon appear for the first time. And one thing I really love is that... Actually, I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. I'm getting ahead. I'm getting ahead. But we will get to see them here. I finally get to meet my Digimon, can hardly wait. And Teddy and Ivy have caught up. Let's see what they've got to say. What were you two doing? You're so slow. They were taking their time. Yeah. Teddy Teddy and Ivy keep it real. They they have yet to miss. They're they're, they're keeping it real. Right, Ivy. Oh, name is Kale. Don't forget it. That's cool. Kale, that's your account name. That's weird. It sounds like a guy's name. Not very progressive of a Sally. It's my choice, okay. I was too lazy, so I'm still Teddy. Teddy has a great name, though. There's really no need to change anything. And as we're talking, our Digimon will appear. Monmon, Agumon, I got that right, and Renamon, who is last but not least. So these will be our three partner Digimon who are going to follow us throughout the game. Hopefully we become world champions or whatever is asked of us throughout this entire game. But these are the three that we're rocking with to start. Um, oh cool, here are my Digimon. 
I wonder who came up with this. That's a really good question, because this, this is a cool setup. <laughs> Me too. Hey everyone, I'm Sally. Nice to meet you. I fight good. Everyone good. Let's go. <laughs> Hi Sally. Let's all do our best. Pokemon solid. Let's all aim to become world champions. So that is our goal as of now, is to be world champion. The Digimon know it. We know it. Teddy and Ivy know it. We're here to become world champ. Alright, I'm counting on you. Let's go. <laughs> And what's really cool, as you're about to see, is these Digimon are going to walk with us throughout the entire game, which I think is a lot of fun. I think when you're playing monster catching games, it's really fun to have the monsters out there with you, whether it's Pokemon, Digimon, anything else you might be playing. It's cool just like to see them throughout the, throughout the game. I think it adds like a layer of like intimacy with you and like the game that you're playing. All right, Teddy says see you later, and we are peacing out. After walking out into the city, we get our first, it looks like Tamer, Tamer Genji. Ho ho ho, I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? We are new. We are definitely brand new. Yeah, I just got my Digimon. And what do they want from us? I'll battle you, boy, is what they said. <laughs> don't worry if you don't understand the rules. Gaining experience is the important thing. So this is probably just like the tutorial for how you fight. And we will spend a little bit of time here just going through the menu options. I think these, these battle, environments, atmospheres are just so, so cool. Um, so we have fight, we have tech, um, which is like your special move in this game. We have uh, DV, which is Digivolve, so if you do have any Digi Evolutions available, you can hit DV and then you can Digivolve in different forms. We also have tag, so if you want to switch between your Digimon, you would hit tag and then select them. And then when we get to the point of having items, um, you can select your items. Um, so in the beginning of this game, you can really just use your tech to like one-shot things if you are concerned with saving MP for any reason. Um, I'll show you how much just your regular fight does to basic level Digimon at this point in the game. This should be like a two-hit KO from here. And this is Quagamon, which a lot of you, if you have seen the OG series, the original Digimon, this is I think one of the first digital monsters that come up to attack the group, and they dispose of it I think pretty quickly, pretty handedly. Um, as you can see here, this is roughly a 2 KO on us as well, so I think I will just go for tech to make sure we knock this out. And Swing Swing is Mon Mon's uh, signature move at this point, which is really cool. I also love Mon Mon, I feel like it's not featured enough in Digimon Media, I really like Mon Mon. Oh, and they dodged. So, evading, to my understanding, if you're using a special move, you have like special defense which allows you to evade. Um, if that's not the case, it's speed that would allow you to evade those things. I need to look that up to give a better explanation. Um, but your speed is really important for like dodging things, getting two hits in it at certain points, which we'll talk about further as we go through the game as well. So we will go for another tech here just to see if we can knock it out. If not, we still have Agumon and Renamon in the back, but it's, it's never a great start to not be like a trial um, battle. <laughs> so as you can see, Swing Swing did 71, so quite a bit more damage than a regular attack. It did cost 20 MP to do that. And in this game, if you if your Digimon faints, like you run out of HP, you can still use it in the next battle. It just only has one HP. So it's not quite like other monster catching games where you lose a Pokemon or a Amon in general and it's fainted. Um, the, these will come back with one HP. So yeah, we won. We're super excited. Tamer Genji. You're pretty good for a first timer, I agree. You have potential to be world champ someday. So lots of world champ being thrown around here. So that's very clearly what our goal is gonna be, <laughs> at least at this point. That's my dream. My dream is to beat this game. So if that means be world champ, that's what we're going to do. In order to do that, you should learn more about Digimon. You should visit the Digimon lab before going outside the city. And Digimon lab, okay, I got it, thanks. And also, do you have a folder bag? No, we don't. What's, <laughs> what's that? I see, you had better go to the Yellow Cruiser. So we have two assignments now, to go to the Digimon Lab to learn more about Digimon, and to go to the Yellow Cruiser to get a folder bag, which should be very important to go through the game. They'll teach you all you need to know about card battles, which we are gonna go through, I'm not gonna play probably every card battle in this playthrough, but I will play a few just so we understand, like the card game, how to do it if you do enjoy that, that side game within this. So now go! I'm counting on you, kid! <laughs> oh, 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 might be Tamer Santa is what he should be named. So we are in Asuka City, we are at the Digimon Lab. 
to learn more about Digimon, but we will end episode one here. So thank you all for watching. I've really enjoyed it so far. Again, one of my favorite games. I'm really excited just to go through it and have this like documented and sharing with all of you. So episode two will be up very shortly. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you like the content and you're excited about the series, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.